Is this on? Oh, must be. Hello everyone. Today we're going to try and build a cheap Chinese AM radio kit. So what do we have? Well, this came in the post as it is and it's actually sealed, which is quite a nice uh, little touch. Don't know what the Chinese writing says there, so I can't tell you. But let's open the incredibly tough seal. We've got a plastic bag. We've got, oh, right, we've got a front panel. Looks like, yes, in tens of kilohertz. We have a very sort of greasy looking board, but it does have a reasonable silk screening on it, I suppose. It doesn't give any component values. Let's lift open the lid of the the box. We have here um, the bag of components and some wires and some other bits and pieces. As I say, there's half the plastic box. And we have a speaker in the front case. So I think, yeah, I think what we're going to do, let's put those bits over there. Let's have a look at the destruction manual and see what it says. It gives you the components in Chinese. It gives you a number chart in Chinese, which is useful. It tells you which way that round the transistors go. In gives you what the uh, numerical values of the, tran uh, the capacitors are, which is quite nice. So I suppose the simplest parts are going to be the resistors. And uh, let's just check which ones go where. Now, if you know your colour code, this is easy. This is nice and straightforward. These resistors are a lot easier to read than the five band blue ones. If you want to check them with a meter, there's nothing stopping you. Uh, it's perfectly acceptable to do that. R1 is 100K. So now we're going to look for R1 on this circuit. There's R2, R3, R13, R1 is there. And it looks like they're standing these up. They don't look like they're laying these flat. Now, I haven't changed from the giant fat tip. I've left the fat tip on there um, simply because this should be easily done without needing to resort to very fine equipment. There we go. That one's in place. That's R1 done. So let's, let's get on with R2. It's a 2K. I'm just wondering, should we do this as a as a time lapse? Yeah, why not? Let's go for it. The way you tell which ones of these go in what space is by the colours. Now, the schematic doesn't help you, and the board diagram will only list B2, B3, B4, B5, B6, B7. But it does tell you here, in Chinese, which ones are which. The clever trick is to know your resistor color code. Let's take this one here, for example, which is, uh, can't see the identifier on it, but um, I believe that one's B2. And the way you can tell, this bit here says transformer, IF, whatever description, but in the brackets, you have this symbol here. Now, if you go down to the resistor color code chart here and look for that symbol, in this case, B2 has the slash slash double lines at the bottom and what looks like a letter I, which equates to number two. Now, number two on the resistor color code is red, which is this one it's red. When it comes to the transformers, you use the same method. This one here has a yellow band around it. So you know, ah, yellow, 
is four. Four is the filled in box, two vertical lines, two horizontal lines and a chevron at the bottom. So when you look for that transformer, you've got to say to yourself, right, which one's that one? And it will tell you that on the board, it's marked with the same symbol. So what have I got left to do? Well, I've got a volume control and I've got a capacitor and then I've got the antenna to put on. So these should be fairly straightforward. These will just go in the relevant holes like so. So that is pretty much all the soldering done and uh, we're ready to try it out. So let's get it set up and see what it sounds like and if we can actually pick something up with it. Okay right so we've done the soldering and I put the wires on and I made a cock up didn't I? I put the wires on the wrong place and they were shorted together because I'm an idiot. Which is why you can see there's a little bit of melty here and a little bit of melty there. Once I realised what my mistake was, and I'd put the wires on correctly, I thought, right, let's try it out again. So what I've done is I've wired the power supply up to points on the board which relate to these, because these wires are actually a little bit thin. And... But let's give it a go and see what happens. So there's the switch. We've got noise. OK, let's try tuning. Now being AM, I'm not expecting to get much on the bench. Well, that's not bad, is it? Put it together and it works. I can't believe it. I've done something right. Well, except for melting the wires. What we'll do now, we'll put it in the box and we'll see how nice it looks when it's in its little plastic case. Right, there we go. Radio is now in its box and... I've actually got batteries in it. Let me... Uh... Now, obviously, anything that's got um, a ferrite rod aerial and nothing else is going to be quite directional. So we've got the one station there. I think the problem I'm going to have in here is the normal one. The cameras and the lights. Yeah, they cause so much interference. I can only pick up the local station, which has a... Well, it's, it's a national station, but it has a relay transmitter about a mile away, running about a kilowatt, which is why I can pick up that one. So rather than get a copyright strike, apart from the stupid mistake that I made and the fact that the instructions are all in Chinese, it seems like quite a nice little kit. You know, it's it's it actually feels quite solid in your hand. There's, there's a fair bit of weight to it. This thing costs five pounds as a complete kit. So you can't really complain. 
Thanks very much for watching the video. Hope you've liked it. If you do, leave a comment. If you don't, leave a comment. And if you really don't like it, hit that dislike button twice. Just just make sure I really know how much you hated this video. Just you know, click that thumbs down twice. Make sure I really know about it. With that, I shall say all the best to you all, and we shall see you in the next video. Don't forget, click subscribe. You really want to. Click like, click the icon, make sure you get all the notifications. Bye for now.